my channel, it is Unicorn World. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel, like and share, and give a huge thumbs up. Since Halloween is almost coming up, I have a book that I'm going to share with you guys. It's called Bats, Creatures of the Night. Let's read it. Bats, Creatures of the Night. No one has lived on this farm for years. The barn looks empty, but it isn't. Strange creatures are sleeping in the loft. As the sun goes down, they take to the air. They come flying out of the windows. They swoop low over the river. They dart under an old bridge. From far away, the creatures look like birds. But whoever heard of a bird with fur? Close up, they look like mice. But who ever heard of a mouse with wings? These strange creatures are bats. Bats are mammals, just like rabbits and horses and dogs, just like us. Many people think that bats are blind, but that's not true. Bats have eyes and they can see. It's just that they spend most of the time in the dark. There is one thing that makes bats different from all other mammals. They can fly. Bats' wings are not like bird wings. Bats do not have feathers. A bat's wing is really an arm with a hand. Its long, thin finger, fingers are joined by a flap of skin. Bats even have little thumbs. So it looks like these are all the kinds of bats. We have the flying fox, the Indian fruit bat, bulldog bat, vampire bat, big brown bat, little brown bat, and bumblebee bat. There are about 1,000 different kinds of bats in the world. The largest bat is called the Semiwan Flying Fox. From wing to wing, it is as big as a Canada goose. The smallest is the bumblebee bat. You have probably heard of the vampire bat. Does the vampire bat really drink the blood of animals? Yes, it does. It lives in Mexico and South America, where it bites cows and horses. Are vampire bats dangerous to people? No. Like other bats, they are less dangerous than raccoons and shunks and other wild creatures. What do the other bats like to eat? Some eat fruit, some drink the juices of flowers, just as hummingbirds do. The bulldog bat even catches fish. But most bats eat insects, flies, moths, and mosquitoes. This spotted bat is about to catch a moth. How can it find insects in the dark? It uses its ears. A bat makes noises when it flies. Click, click, click. A moth flies, flies by the clicks bounce of the mouth, moth. They make an echo. The echo tells the bat where the moth is. The bat moves very fast. It scoops up the moth with the tip of its wing. Bats hunt only at night. During the day, they sleep. This old barn is home to about 100 little brown bats. The tired bats fly in through a hole in the roof. They grab the rafters with their back feet. All day long, they will hang upside down. This is how bats sleep. All the little brown bats in the barn are females. They like to barn. They like the barn. It is warm and quiet. Nobody uses it. It will be a safe place to bring up their young. This little brown bat is ready to have her baby. She hangs by her feet claws. The baby comes out of her body. The mother bat has a flap of skin between her legs. She spreads out the flap and catches the baby in it. The mother has to move fast. It is a long way to the floor of the barn. Soon there are almost 100 baby bats in the old barn. At night, the mother bats go out to hunt. When they come back, all the babies are crying for food. Weak, weak, weak. Each mother knows her own baby's voice. She flies right to it. She washes its face and lets it drink some of her milk. By the end of August, 
The nights are getting colder. The mother cannot find enough insects to eat. It is time for the little brown bats to move to a different home for the winter. Night after night, they fly. One morning, just before sunrise, they come to a big cave. Male and female bats will sleep in the cave all winter. Thousands of bats come back to the same cave every year. When spring comes, the bats wake up slowly. They squeak and fly around the cave. Then one evening, all the bats fly out the door of the cave. Whoosh! Outside the cave, a barn owl sits high in a tree. Suddenly, the owl swoops down. Just in time, the young bat darts out of her the uh, out of the way. The little brown bat may live to be 20 years old. During the summers, he will not live with his mother. He will join a group of male bats under an old bridge. Little brown bats usually live in the country. Other kinds of bats. The big brown bat is often seen in cities. Sometimes it sleeps in churches, stepless, or in attics. A big brown bat may even fly right through an open window. Big brown bats are peaceful animals. If one gets in your home, house, don't be scared. It is probably a young bat. It is probably lost and scared too. Why are so many people afraid of bats? Maybe they have heard that bats like to land in people's hair, but that's not true. Some people even believe stories about vampires, like Count Dracula. Dracula could turn into a bat. He drank the blood of sleeping people, but Dracula is not a real person. You will only meet him in books and horror movies. In China, people are not afraid of bats. They think that seeing a bat is good luck. A good gift is a lucky charm with a picture of five flying bats. It is a sign of happiness. Years ago, there were many more bats. Some caves had millions of them. Now many of those caves have been filled in. Some have been turned into tunnels, tunnels for cars. Hikers sometimes disturb bats too. If bats wake up in the middle of winter, they can starve to death. This is because there are no insects to eat. Now scientists are starting to protect bat caves. Some people are even building bat houses. Bats can live in them during the summer. Bats help to control insects. A tiny bat can catch up to 600 mosquitoes in an hour. One thing bats do not like is pollution. If there are lots of bats around, it means the air and water are probably clean. That's why it really is good luck to see a bat. The end. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that story and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.